And now it's time for Rowan and Martin's look at the news. Past, present, and uh, future. <laughs> Once again, Rona Martin looks at the news, past, present, and future. And now, with the news of today, here's Dickie. <laughs> Greetings, friends. May the bluebird of happiness hatch in your hairpiece. <laughs> and here are some names in the news. Lyndon. Hubert, Bobby, Liz, Mervyn, Leroy, Irving, and Morgul as the friendly drell. Next, here's today's big story. Hey, that doesn't make sense. NBC announced that in spite of the highest ratings ever for the Bob Hope Christmas show, they intend to cancel the Vietnam War. Fashion news from Paris. French designers say that 1968 will see the end of the short skirt, long earrings and textured stockings, while women's fashions will remain essentially the same. <laughs> and now we take you to our man in Pittsburgh. What's happening in Pittsburgh, Bob? <laughs> okay. And now for a look into the future with the news headlines 20 years from now. And here's Dan Rowan. 1988, from the capital of France, in Quebec, Canada, <laughs> General de Gaulle announced that from now on, his birthday will be celebrated on December 25th. <laughs> Sacramento, 1988, Governor Ronald Reagan announced a generous increase in California Medicare benefits. The ailing governor is 65 today. <laughs> Here's some more news in the future 20 years from now. Dublin, 1988. With marriage in the church recently sanctioned, the archbishop and his lovely bride, <laughs> Sister Mary Catherine, said, this time it's for keeps. <laughs> now, here's the news of the past. Back to you, Dick. The so-called modern trend in topical and political comedy in America today began, in fact, when there were only 13 colonies. We take you back 200 years to the colonial Boston, where it's showtime at the colonial Copper Kettle Coffee Kitchen. It's nice to be back, yeah. I always tell my friends, this is my favorite place. You know, I ever can wait to get back to, to the copper kettle. <laughs> favorite place. I always look at the audience. You know, you got a lot of ugly people in the audience here at the copper kettle. But I like it. <laughs> ben Franklin got married. Did you hear about that? Yeah, he married a model up in Philadelphia. Fox. <laughs> That's a picture on the front of those Mother's Oats boxes. <laughs> you know, I started here at the Copper Kettle. I used to hold the little horses out front. <laughs> Look, so I gotta go beside a guy just rode by and said, the British are coming. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> week we present the uh, Horatio Alger Award. I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> to the person who has opened up new vistas in industry and science to help make America great. And this week's winner is George W. Young, a man of great courage and vision. Good evening, Mr. Young. 
Yes. I'd certainly like to congratulate you on winning the Horatio Alger Award. Yes. I see you're hard at work on a uh, on a new project, are you? Uh... Yes, my new venture, my railroad. Oh, you bought a railroad. No, I'm building a railroad. <laughs> building a railroad? Yes. <laughs> well, that hasn't been done for over a hundred years. Yes, that's true. Sir, I have a crew working from the West Coast and yeah, one from th the... This is the East Coast over here, Mr. Young. <laughs> yes. Thank you, young man. Tricky, these maps. In any event, I have a crew working from this coast and one from that coast. Yes. They're slowly moving toward each other. Eventually, mm -hmm. within a few short months, they will meet in downtown Omaha, Nebraska. I see. From that moment forward, sir, with the driving of this golden spike, you will be able to travel from New York to California in less than eight days. Zip right across the country there, huh? Yes, indeed, sir. Yeah, well, how's your project going along? Fine. Yes, 100%. Is that so? At this moment, we have at least a half a mile of track laid already. Oh, okay. <laughs> half a mile already? Where is it, on the uh, east coast or the west coast? Yes. <laughs> All those places. Well, of course, it's not connected yet. Oh, of course not. We have uh, one and a half yards in New York City alone. We have five inches outside of Pittsburgh, oh. 200 feet near Des Moines, Iowa, approximately 80 yards somewhere due west of... Elko, Nevada. <laughs> well, of course, you understand the greatest difficulty has been the purchasing of the land. The land. Yes, a lot of the settlers won't sell. Yes, well, I see, you're pretty busy, Mr. Young, so yes, I'll I just toddle along. Thank you. I want to thank you for your help with the map. Very you're a fine young man. Yes. Want to be a switchman? Uh, no, uh, no, I'd sure like to help you drive that golden spike, though. This one? Yeah. Sure you will. By all means. Thank you. It's the 45th guy wants to drive the golden spike. Are they kidding? I'm going to drive the golden spike. <laughs> That's about it for the Roland Martin Report. Tune in next week when Laugh-In looks at the news, past, present, and future. And remember... <laughs> I forgot, I don't... <laughs> <laughs>